If that's the case, how is it possible that one single person like you or me is able to um, predict what's going to happen when the whole thing is robust in concept, uh, concession decision making? Thank you. Yeah, that's a good question. Um, so the, the, simple, the simple answer is that Bitcoin runs a certain set of rules, and those rules can't be changed unless everybody agrees. And by agrees, that means you run the software that expresses the rules that you want. But if you don't do anything different, Bitcoin doesn't change. That's the whole point. The consensus rules remain the same. So, for example, um, I'm a U.S. citizen right now. Um, we just had an announcement by the Federal Reserve that they're going to raise interest rates. Um, this was at the last Friday meeting, and they announced, and they said maybe once more this year. So I know what the interest rate will be next week. I don't know what the interest rate will be next year. I know what the interest rate will be for Bitcoin in the year 2142, <laughs> down to eight decimal points. Why? Because I can read the code, and it's right there. And that's one of the rules that's not going to change. Because if you change that rule, it's not Bitcoin anymore. I can guarantee you that Bitcoin will never create 21 million coins. That's the upper limit. We will never reach it. We will get 20,997,000 and change, and then it will stop. Why? Because that rule will never change. Because if you try to change that rule, I will say no. Most of the other people who are interested in Bitcoin will say no. And if you split off the network, you can call your thing Bitcoin, and we'll keep calling our thing Bitcoin, and we'll just keep the old rules. That's certainty. It gives me a, a, a set of rules that are based in mathematics that I can look into the future and I know exactly when, down to the block number, the distribution of bitcoins will reduce by half in the year 2038. I can tell you which block number today, because it's mathematics. That's what gives us control. It's that this is not based on arbitrary decisions by people. It's based on mathematics. Now, some people don't like that. Some people want to have the ability to make political choices, to elect people who make choices for them, and to change their mind, and to have flexibility in the system. And for that, Bitcoin isn't good because Bitcoin is inflexible. You know, if you want 24 million coins, sorry, we're not going to do that. It's going to be 20.997 done. So. If you want certainty, if you want predictability, if you want hard mathematical rules, Bitcoin might be an interesting choice for you. If you don't, you can pick another digital currency or, or another system of organization. That's what we get. We get a level of certainty.